Hello. So here's what our Ferris wheel looks like. It's got a diameter of 20 meters. Since the platform's two meters above the ground and the radius of the Ferris wheel is 10, that means we're going to have a vertical displacement of 12 for the center of the Ferris wheel. The period is 6. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, that's right. No, that's not right. It's not pi. This should just be 3 halves. This one should just be 3. This should be 9 halves. And this should be 6. My bad. Got ahead of myself. Okay. So we're starting 2 meters above the ground when time is 0. In a minute and a half, we're at the center line of the Ferris wheel. At three minutes, we're at the top of the Ferris wheel, 22 feet above the ground. In four and a half minutes, we are back to the center line. And in six minutes, we're back where we started. So that's your graph. For the equation, well, we're going to use cosine because we're starting at the bottom of this thing. And it's going to be negative because we're starting at the bottom. Usually cosine starts up here and then goes down and up. This one goes up and then down. So A is our amplitude. We figured that is 10. We figured our vertical displacement is 12. We need to figure out what B equals. Well, B equals 2 pi divided by the period. So when I do that, I get pi over 3. So our equation is y equals negative 10 cosine pi over 3t plus 12. They want to know between what times is or how long is this Ferris wheel above the car above 15 meters. So we need to figure out, let's see. 15 meters is going to probably be up here somewhere on this side. And then it's going to be 15 meters over here on this side. Okay. So if we set our equation equal to 15, so we get 15 equals negative 10 cosine of pi over 3 times t plus 12. We'll subtract 12 from both sides and get 3 equals negative 10 cosine pi over 3t. Divide both sides by negative 10. Then we take the inverse cosine. So the inverse cosine of negative 3 tenths is going to equal pi over 3. That comes out to be 1.875. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of pi over 3. So we get 3 over pi times 1.875 equals 17.91 minutes. So over here, it takes a 17, oh, sorry, 1.791 minutes to get to this point. Now we need to figure out this point. So I need to figure out my reference angle for this angle over here. Well, so first I'm going to take pi minus 1.875, and that gives me 1.267 which is going to be my reference angle. I'm in the third quadrant. If you think of this in standard position, we're kind of like 90 degrees off here. But that's because I need another the cosine value to be negative again, so I'd be in the third quadrant. To use my reference angle in the third quadrant, I add pi to it, so I get my angle in the third quadrant would be 4.408. So then I just substitute that 4.408 where I had the 1.875. And that's 4.408 times 3 over pi again equals t. 
So it takes 4.209 minutes to get to that where it's 15 feet above the ground again. So then you just subtract those two numbers. And I got a little round off error in there. This should probably be an eight the way we did it. So it's going to take, so when that Ferris wheel goes around for 2.418 minutes, you're above 15 feet.